pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, Cougar family. Sorry for the interruption. We'll get back to the broadcast in just a moment. But Mr. Parr here to talk about everyone's favorite subject, testing. Next week, we will be conducting the Smarter Balance testing for all 11th graders across the school. The English test will take place Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and the math test will take place Thursday and Friday. They will be in your classes, so the rest of the school will not be interrupted. One important thing I want to make sure all 11th graders know is to bring your headphones. Okay, we have extra ones to provide for you if you don't have any, but it's more comfortable and you'll have a much better testing experience if you bring your own headphones. Now we're at back to the regularly scheduled broadcast. Good morning, Cougars. It is Friday, May 12th. Welcome to SCTV News. I'm Lance Shire. And I'm Robert Gillespie. Mother's Day is this weekend. It is a tradition that dates back centuries, but the American version started in 1908 and President Woodrow Wilson made it a national holiday in 1914. According to a survey conducted this year, most moms say they just want to go out with their families rather than receiving a gift. However, if you still need a last minute gift idea, here's a thought. I got a condo in Manhattan, baby girl, what's happening? You and your aunt invited, so go on and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pop, pop a phone. One thing I love about my mom is that she's so supportive of me, especially with basketball in my school. She loves me way more than my twin sister. Well, I love my mom because she's the person who brought me into the earth, and you know, she just does everything for you, anything that you need, she's always there for you. What I love about my mom is that she's my mom. That's all I got. <laughs> what I love about my mom is the endless time she spends making my delicious sandwiches for lunch. What I love most about my mom is she does everything for me. And she keeps me jubilant. So bright, strawberry champagne on us. For Mother's Day, I'm going to get my mom a dozen red roses. That's a good one. I think I'm going to give my mom a big bear hug. I got something better. A What's nice that? warm kiss on the cheek. That's a good one. And, and a cup 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 cozy. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. I'm talking trips to Puerto Rico. Say the word and we go. You can be my flicker. Girl, I'll be a flicker, mama sister. I will never make a promise that I can't keep. I promise that your smile ain't gonna never leave. I think I'm just gonna get my mom some flowers and some chocolates. Well, I'm just gonna help my mom with the house and stuff. That's awesome. Today is the final day of Teacher Appreciation Week. You've probably seen the posters hanging from the classroom doors, and please give your favorite teacher an encouraging note. One staff member who deserves appreciation is the focus of this week's Teacher Appreciation feature. Reporter Isaac Martinez has a profile of Mrs. Brown. I like Mrs. Brown very much. Because she's a fun teacher, I like her teaching style, and her class is very, uh, entertaining. I knew she wouldn't be a strict teacher because she didn't have that attitude and I was looking forward to being in her class. Um, she's like very involved with the students and makes sure that you know what she's talking about. Thank you very much. She's like a mom figure <laughs> that helps you and like between your personal life and your school life. Other students say like she's really nice and she's really funny and she like makes them do like funny things. Many of Mrs. Brown's students love and adore her. Uh, this is my second year teaching at Steele. Right now I teach ninth grade geography, all three blocks in the lab. Wow. There are certain expectations that I expect my students to know and to, and to behave. Uh, they know what's expected of them, but at the same time I like my class to have fun because if geography isn't fun or if whatever you're learning isn't fun then you guys aren't going to want to learn it. So. I love teaching. Yeah, I, love, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do anything else. I hope they think that I'm a good teacher. Uh, I think that they probably think that I'm fun um, 
and that I try my best to help them if they need help and that I'm always willing to go the extra mile for them if they need me um, and that they can always rely on me and trust me to help them out. Um, I had really good teachers in high school and I've always liked working with teenagers and and kids. I've always done it even like when I was a teenager. When I was a teenager I worked a summer job with kids at summer camp and so I think it was just having those really good teacher role models when I was in high school that made me want to be a teacher and want to uh, make a difference in schools today. It's a difficult job sometimes. It's probably one of the most rewarding jobs you can have and it's really fun uh, to just kind of get to know your students and get to know you guys um, and be able to help you out. For SETV News, this is Isaac Martinez. The Mito Club has some more information about the mitochondrial disease. Reporter Nico Slater has the story. Hi, I'm Jackie. And I'm Serena. And I'm Senora Whaley. And we're here to tell you about mitochondrial disease and why it's important. Mitochondrial disease is important because a lot of, a lot of people know about it and it affects millions of people. And it also is connected to autism, blindness, cancer, diabetes, and infertility. Mitochondrial disease is a debilitating disease that both of my daughters have. Kaylin and Karis are eight and six years old and cannot walk or talk. They only have a 50% chance of living until the age of 10. Uh, every year we do a Mito 5K, and this year it's at Liberty Station in Point Loma. That's a tropical run. We just completed a Money for Mito fundraiser in all of your second block classes. All of that money is going to research at UCSD for mitochondrial disease. We would love for you to join us on May 20th at Liberty Station. You can sign up at mitoresearchfund.org to join us and also we're looking for more volunteers. If you're interested, please come see me in K115. Mitochondrial disease is widely recognized as one of the most important areas of study in medicine right now. So please go to mitoresearchfund.org and support the many kids that suffer from mitochondrial disease. From SCTV News, I'm Nico Slater. Thanks to all the Cougars who applied to join ASB next year. The ASB Executive Council is reading through all of the applications carefully to choose the applicants who will be invited for interviews during the week of May 22nd. Applicants invited for interviews will have their student ID numbers posted on the ASB room glass door by early next week. All applicants should check their emails periodically for possible notifications. We are less than a month away from graduation. However, if any seniors still have any fines or detentions, they will not be able to go to prom or walk at graduation. There are two more Saturday schools this year to clear detention, and there is a list of fines posted at the finance office. And seniors, today is the last day. Prom tickets will cost only $40. The price goes up next week, and the deadline is fast approaching. The last day to buy guest passes is May 22nd, and the last day for tickets is May 23rd. Prom will be two weeks from tomorrow, May 27th at Liberty Station. Spring concert is less than a week away. Tickets are $15 and the doors open next Wednesday and Thursday night at 7 p.m. Key Club wants to thank all students and staff for a successful Miracle Mile of Quarters fundraiser for Raddy's Children's Hospital. They would also like to remind students they will meet again on Monday at lunch in room K-108. A huge congratulations go to gymnast Alex LeBac and Brianna Hainich for qualifying to the CIF gymnast meet as individuals. If you want to see them in action, CIF will be held at La Costa Canyon High School next Wednesday. Athletes, if you plan to play a fall sport next year, you must go to our website and fill out a sports clearance form. Physicals will be available on campus for $20 on June 5th at 6 and June 7th at 7. The final home game for the six seniors on the baseball team will be today at 4 versus Elkhorn Valley. Swim and Dive has CIF Dive at Mesa College. First splash for the boys is at 10 and 2 o'clock for the girls. That's all the news I have for you today. Have a great Friday. Raw Raw Cougars. Cougar, Cougar Pride. Pride. Get, Get some. some.